Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a double bubble map in Microsoft Office. I'm going to use Word for this, but the Word art that I use could just as easily be used in PowerPoint or any of the Office suite. And uh, what this map is going to look like is kind of like a Venn diagram, if you've ever seen one. It's going to have two big circles with, like, say, land animals and sea animals. And there's some, the ones that are both land and sea animals will be smaller circles in the middle that the big circles connect to. The ones that are just land animals would be off to the side, and the ones that are just sea animals would be off to the other side. So it, usually they look kind of symmetrical, but they can be asymmetrical too. So I'm going to show you how to create one of those pretty quick. So here I am inside of Word, and we're just going to insert a shape. And we're going to pick circle, and we're going to be using this circle quite a lot. So let's make two big circles first, and these are going to be our, kind of our big topics. Now we can make another circle by clicking on the circle up here, but I'm just going to copy and paste this, just to make it a little bit more symmetrical. All right, so let's make another smaller circle, and I'm going to copy and paste that as well, kind of in the middle, paste it again. And real quick, if I hold down Control and click on each of these, I can come up here to the Align and say Align Centers. And that makes it look really neat and pretty. So let's copy this and paste it again. And put it over here. And just a, a couple more of them. And we're going to paste just probably two on this side. All right. Now our circles are kind of outlined. Now we just need to connect them with lines. And that's pretty much the easiest thing that you can do. We're going to, if you just click on one of the circles, you don't even need to go to the, in, the uh, insert tab. We're just going to come up here to the line and click on it and begin connecting the circles. And you do have to click on the line each time you want to create another line. And you'll notice that that last line that I drew overran the circle a little bit, and that's okay. If you click on it, you can grab that green circle there and uh, bring it back a little bit. All right, just about a little bit more than halfway done here. The last two circles, and there you go. So, you would then begin filling these circles with text or graphics or whatever you would need to do. And because they're just objects, you can move them around and resize them and, like I showed you with that line, very easily reconnect them with the rest of the diagram. I hope this has helped you see how you can create a double bubble map in Microsoft Word. If you have any other questions, please contact me at josiah at jraystudios.com. I'm Josiah Ray.